I'm going to be showing you how to fix the yeah, know, 1960s fan. It still works, but I'm in the process of renovating, rejuvenating, and fixing it. Gonna give it a new paint job. And right now, here I have a drill, sanding bit, if you call it that. I'm going to do that for the last half hour, and I'll get back to you. Okay, well, I'm drying the fan off now. Yeah, damn, the paint job looks beautiful. Sanded off the grill, sanded off the fan, painted that, sanded off the actual body itself, painted that. Now I just get another fan to dry it off. <laughs> Irony. I pretty much fully, I clean, I, what I do is I got the brush, I got the blades here. I also, Sand it after sanding off the whole thing as seen previously. I covered that with tape too. Damn, the motor gets hot on this sucker. So yes, did that. Had to take all the screws out. And now it's pretty much done. I sand so once it's, this isn't completely sanded off, but I did a pretty good job. Barely any noticeable rust whatsoever. Not really any at all. There's the tightening thing where it allows you to position this. The rotary mechanism, allowing it to turn around. See? See, we don't just destroy things. We also fix things. There's the cord. It's a little old. Well, this was bought around 1965. It screws back in, tighten the fan blade. Uh, I put so many layers of paint on it. There's about five layers of primer. As you can see, a little white spot right there. I accidentally missed painting that with the blue, but oh well. Yeah, I polished everything off here. Pretty strong too. Well, let's go plug it in. Look at this old, dangerous looking plug here. Get out of the way. Ah, that looks nice. Now, to turn on the oscillation, you actually turn this knob. And there it goes. Most things are external. You can see how strong this is. It gets so hot right here, in fact. And there you have it. You wouldn't believe how strong this is. Yeah, I'll give you an example. See this shirt? Yeah, that's only on like number two speed, also. Blade spins, everything looks great. Very shiny fan. Only cost me six dollars to fix this one up. The next project is going to be a 1980s box fan, Hunter specifically branded. Also, look what else I picked up. Hobby car. Off the streets. Hmm, what a lucky find. Although this has been sitting in my grandparents' house for, I don't know, the last 30 years they stopped using it. It always worked, but it was all rusty. It needs to be rejuvenated.